Uh, greetings, I assume we're recording. I haven't been given a formal cue due to unprofessional cameraman. The point is that this is the video that you've requested on my website. Uh, you've requested a video, uh, I think there were various things, but the one you've asked for is a disastrous trip uh, for a couple uh, to Hampton Court Palace. Well, the story concerns uh, an elderly couple in their late 40s going to the Hampton Court Palace <laughs> and it starts badly because they uh, put those um, head for, like, uh, for commentary, those things they can listen to the commentary as they walk around, but they ke keep getting interrupted by the ghost of Anne Boleyn coming out and going on about, oh, I was a young woman beheaded, I was dealt with a rough hand in life and all that, and they just keep, keep saying, look, just shove off Anne, you know which aren't listen to the commentary. You know, and frankly, you know, things haven't worked out that badly. You know, you are now uh, known as the mother of Queen Elizabeth I, one of the great queens of England. You know, just stop moaning. She's going, like, oh, 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 I'm not happy. I loved Henry VIII and he cut my head off. Just stop moaning. You know, it's just, they say, Anne, you are symptomatic of the whole moan, moan, moan culture, this whole something for nothing culture. I want something for nothing. Well, maybe you'll find out if you're going to be the Queen of England, it comes with strings attached. It's not as straightforward as you think. Just like Katie Med Middleton, as she is finding out, things aren't so straightforward. As we know, our Katie has lessons to learn. Harsh lessons. But anyway, then they go on to the uh, the uh, maze, and they're in the maze, and they start. Pay they get separated. They go different. One, one goes one way, one the other way. And um, she starts having a panic attack. I can't find my way through the maze, sort of thing. And then, uh, <laughs> then he he's saying, "Oh, shut up! You just enjoy the maze." Oh, I can't find my way through. He says, "Look, if you keep turning left, you'll always get your way to the middle, and always the way out. If you just keep going left, that is the technique." Uh, meanwhile, though, she stressed him too much. <laughs> he has a massive heart attack. <laughs> Obviously, that might sound a bit out of uh, context there, but it's within the context of a very difficult marriage <laughs> in which uh, he's fought, pushed to the limit constantly with her moaning. <laughs> uh, so uh, he has a heart attack in the centre of the maze, which is a convenient position. But she can't get to him. Uh, like. Uh, uh, he's through the hedge. Are you alright, love? Oh my god, you have a heart attack. Uh, but luckily, uh, she remembers to keep turning left, gets the scent. So, anyway, she obviously she calls for an ambulance, and uh, the ambulance man's approaching. She says, oh, Keep turning left, you'll get to the centre. The ambulance man says, No, no, actually, I won't bother with that. I've got my own method of getting through a maze. No, 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 no. She says, This is a life or death situation. My husband's had a heart attack. Keep turning left, and you're guaranteed to get to the centre. The ambulanceman says, shut it, bitch. <laughs> that is a clue, it's not a real ambulanceman. And indeed it isn't. Because when the so-called ambulanceman arrives, he's all dressed in like old, ye olde clothes. And he says, oh, hello, my name is Henry. She says, oh wow, I can't believe it. Uh, we've come to Hampton Court Palace and uh, here he is, the ghost of King Henry VIII. Uh, he says, actually, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm not King Henry VIII, I'm another Another one of the Henrys. Oh, she says, uh, uh, "Are you um, Henry the Henry the uh, Henry Tudor? Uh, are you Henry the Seventh? No, not Henry the Seventh. Henry the Sixth." He says, "Oh, is that Henry Tudor? No, no." He says, um, "Henry the Seventh was Henry Tudor, and he was the father of Henry the Eighth, and he was the one who took the crown away from Richard the Third, who was the last of the, of the Plantagenets in the Battle of Bosworth." Um, so she says, well, but when were you then, Henry VI? Well, he says, uh, well, that would have been much earlier. You know, obviously, <laughs> so, you know, it's quite a lot earlier. <laughs> and she says, are you, are you not one of the one, well, no, he says, I'm not one of the well-known ones. I'm one of the ones no one really knows anything about. Uh, and indeed, um, Shakespeare never wrote a play about me or anything. I really lost out. I mean, who talks about Henry VI? No one. No one even knows when he was around, really. I've forgotten myself, because it was such a long time ago. 
And uh, she says, did you used to live in Hampton Court Palace then? No, no, he says, uh, I didn't live here. I lived in another palace in those days. Well, what are you doing here then? Well, he, she says, uh, he says, oh, it's just, um, well, it's just like anyone else. This is a day trip, trip out. I mean, just because I'm a ghost doesn't mean I don't like to go down a maze. Doesn't mean I want to just stay in the same place all the time, haunting the same house. I mean, as it happens, I've been haunting a block of flats um, in Lambeth for about four years. I didn't live there, but that's where I've been haunting, because it's a convenient haunting position. But I don't want to stay there. So is that exit? Uh, the exit, she says, um, she says, um, she says, very unimaginative, you know, calling herself uh, Henry. All oh, Henry's, these kings, aren't they? Henry all the time. She said, he says, actually, I wasn't Henry. Um, my name was, I was Hernia. But um, I decided that uh, uh, Henry VI sounded better than King Hernia I. You know, I mean, I was christened Hernia. I liked the name Hernia. People, as a child, people say, how are you, Hernia? I liked it. But I thought King Hernia I didn't sound quite right. So that's why I'm Henry VI. I wish I'd called myself Hernia I now, because I'd probably be more well known. No one talks about Henry VI but everyone would talk about Hernia the First, wouldn't they? If I was King Hernia the First, I'd be one of the most famous kings ever. Anyway, she says, we've got to cut this chat, really, because, um, you know, my husband's obviously had a heart attack, he's seriously ill, and the time is the essence of the heart attack. He says, actually, love, I think we've left you a bit late, he's dead. <laughs> and uh, she says, oh, yeah, you're right, <laughs> blast it. He says, I couldn't have done much anyway, because I'm not a genuine ambulance man. I'm uh, the ghost of Henry VI, anyway. Uh, anyway, she says, um, he says, uh, he says, are you, are you all right? Are you all right? Uh, are you all right, uh, um, uh, Dennis? <laughs> she says, oh yeah, you're talking to him, are you? She said, I forgot that. Being a ghost, I suppose, you can communicate with the dead. She says, would you mind passing a message on to my husband? Just to say that the work with the utility room will go on. In his memory, I'll keep working on that utility room. Yeah, OK. He says, a uh, message from Dennis. Uh, he's not bothered about utility room. He, he could never care less about it anyway. She thought, what, what? But we were transforming that area of the house. How can he say that? Uh, he actually says he was never bothered about it. He didn't like being married to you anyway, and he's glad he's dead. <laughs> Cruel words, you know. Anyway. The, uh, the Henry VI, uh, he says, well, I'll be off now. Uh, I've got to... Just, uh, I just had enough, really. <laughs> so, uh, she says, remember to turn left each time to get out. He says, I won't bother with that. Being a ghost, I just waft through the uh, hedges. So he wafts away. Uh, she keeps turning left. And, uh, and she gets out, she gets to the turnstile. Uh, the man at the tennis hall says, uh, good, good afternoon, madam, did you enjoy your trip? <laughs> she says, uh, yeah, I did actually, I enjoyed coming to the maze, uh, apart from the fact my husband died in the centre of it. Oh, well, these things happen, you know. She says, have you got a body bag? Yeah, yeah, he says, uh, here we are, keep turning left. So she goes left, uh, picks out the body, and uh, hauls it out, keep turning left. And that's uh, the end, basically, of a... Uh, disastrous uh, story uh, of the visit of uh, the couple to Hampton Court Palace. Uh, well, it would be the end were it not for the fact that there's a slight sting in the tail. We've got to move here because the car's going past. Uh, as you can see, we've got a wonderful backdrop uh, to the uh, story, uh, which is. Um, well, we're in a hotel called Hendon Hall, and that's what it would look like, but it doesn't exist. It's been taken away with scaffolding, so they've put a picture of what it would look like if it were there. Anyway, nice. the story's over, a disastrous trip to Hampton Court Palace. Apart from one thing, which is, on the way back, she goes back to the car park, uh, she has her purse stolen and receives a mild sexual assault. Please tune in for the next video which will be in about uh, I expect well, I'm going to Australia tomorrow so I expect when I get back from Australia in about two months we'll have another vote we'll have a vote while I'm in Australia sort of thing if staff get their act together and then we will have another video in two months uh, goodbye